Hi there folks, Andrew here at Chatfield. Today I'll be sharing with you a tip that you can use in your bot to make it more intelligent. So since the beginning of time, since the inception of Messenger, bot builders have been plagued with something called the big blue thumbs up button. You're probably asking what the heck is that? If I switch over into Messenger over here, you'll see it's down here in the lower right hand corner. This blue thumbs up has been an issue forever basically because when people are creating bots oftentimes users will respond to messages with this blue thumbs up button the issue though is that when users send this you as a bot builder don't have any way for the bot to be able to respond because if you try to find out what the url for this image is with facebook the answer is that well it changes all the time based on when the user sends it and what user sends it in other words this image this png file is a unique url a unique link for each user and that's problematic because if you go over into chat field and try to set up an ai rule for that the reality is it won't work. It's always changing and it simply won't allow ChatFuel to respond with text and image, whatever the case might be. So recently, our wonderful engineers on the team have introduced a solution that will make you super happy because now you can respond to the blue thumbs up when users send it, which in fact is much more common than you might think. So the question of course is, how do you set this up in ChatFuel? So to set this up, all you need to do, as mentioned, is go to the Setup AI tab here and add an AI rule, right? And of course this works with existing AI rules. And so what I'm gonna do, I'm on a Mac right now to open up the emoji window. I'm going to press down on Control, Command, and the space bar all at the same time. That'll bring up this window. And then I'll select the yellow thumbs up emoji right there and bam, we're good to go. If you're on a Windows machine, you can hold down the Windows key and the period key at the same time. That'll also bring up the emoji window. You can either look for the emoji in that list or type it in like thumbs up, and there you go. So on the left-hand side, we're predicting what the user is going to type in. Obviously, this isn't the blue thumbs up, but it works as a placeholder. So we'll have that thumbs up emoji there. And then on the other side right here, we can respond with text or a block, whatever the case might be. We'll just respond with a simple text message and we'll say thumbs up to you too, right? Pretty corny, but just showing what you can do as a test right here. So now let's go back into Messenger. I'll do what I did before. I'll click that blue thumbs up and bam, there we go. Now ChatFuel is able to respond. Obviously with this, you don't need to use any third party plugins or tools like Dialogflow or anything like that. It's totally simple, super quick to set up, and now your bot is on the right path to responding to everything a user could possibly want to send you. So test this out in the dashboard today. Again, super quick to set up. If you have any questions, leave them down below in the comments. Be sure to also check out all the wonderful resources in the description for you, especially if you're a new user to Chatfuel, and we'll see you in the next video. Happy botting.